There's just something about salads. And by that, I mean just how quick those calories can stack up when you're not paying attention to what you put on them. I mean, it's a salad, right? How many calories could it possibly be? And aren't all salads healthy? If you've ever wondered how something as seemingly simple as a salad could get so dang confusing, then this edition of the First Thing Q&A with J&A is for you. My name is Jonathan Montgomery. And I'm Ann Montgomery. And we're the co-founders of First In Nutrition. If you want to learn more about what coaching a community can do for you, head on over to firstinnutrition.com. And if you're ready to get to the bottom of what's really going on in that bowl of salad, you're in the right place. Let's get to it. Um, Kelly asked a question, which is interesting that Coach Kelly would ask this question. She says, Ann, do you ever get salads out? Do you personally also estimate about 1,000 calories if you have a salad with little or no salad dressing? Kelly, Coach Kelly, I do get salads out. And fun story, I used to get salads everywhere before I was actually tracking my food because I thought, it's a salad. It's the best thing I can get because it's lettuce, it's vegetables, it's... Shocker, when we went to Cheesecake Factory and I actually tracked my first salad and I used to like that like Thai chicken salad. Guys, it's like 1300 plus calories for a salad, not happening. So I do get salads out when I feel the need to get them. Whether I personally also estimate a thousand calories with little or no dressing, that's a tough call. For most cases of salads now, unless I'm getting like a weird chopped, totally mixed crazy salad, I will enter the ingredients separately usually. I will estimate, I will bring my travel scale and I will try to weigh some things out. I'll usually do that individually because a thousand calories, if you're eating a base salad without salad dressing, you're probably overshooting that. Now, if you get a Cobb salad and you have eggs and bacon and cheese, and now you put a little dressing on it, could you get a thousand calories? Yeah, quickly. So if I eat them out, I usually put them in separately with ingredients because I don't tend to order the crazy fancy with all the stuff salad. I would say it's kind of like this, Coach. If you're ordering a salad out, I would reckon it's because you're conserving calories. And if you're ordering it to conserve calories, then it's probably not going to be a thousand calorie salad. If you're ordering a salad as your entree, I would assume, and it's just an assumption, that it would be like your favorite salad at a restaurant you know and love, and you'd have some familiarity with it. The majority of your caloric impact in a salad doesn't come from lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, sprouts, yeah. arugula. It doesn't come from that. It comes from ingredients that get put on a salad that may not be from the same family of a vegetable or fruit, right? It's going to come from the calorie dense options. So when you get a cob and there's a row of blue cheese and there's a row of ham and a row of bacon and a row of eggs, if you took all of that off and you just had a bed of lettuce, that wouldn't be something I'd worry about. But it's all the stuff that they, or us, can put on it when we build our own salads. So for me, it's, it's very easy. If I'm ever caught eating a salad out as an entree, it's because I planned to have no food at that, at that engagement, right? Most of the time, I get a salad, and even you've been getting salads lately, yeah. is like a house salad with sushi, yeah. with a ginger dressing. In all things, the closer the food is to ingredients you can recognize, the better you're going to be able to make a reliable estimation. There are plenty of 1,000 calorie salads out all there. Plus. Yeah. But by and large, they are due to the dressing because the fat content in a cream-based dressing is astronomical and nine calories to a gram when you're basically consuming pure fat adds up quick. Even your vinaigrettes, a lot of people look at vinaigrette and think, oh, it's a good one, it's a good choice, because it's oil, that's oil based. So yeah, those can pack a womp into. Coach Kelly says, thanks, I tend to negative weigh what I can on salads, I'm super picky about dressing. Mine tend to be more in the 700 range and I wanted to check yeah. myself. Yeah, that sounds like a great range. If I'm getting a salad, it's dressing on the side. Yeah. And if I can, depending on where we're at, you can ask them to break it down for you. Like when we go to Chipotle and, and get a salad, that's yeah. somewhere we will get salads. Yeah. And fam, especially with that dressing, those are closer to 1,000 calorie salads. Doing stuff like that, you can ask them to order or bring you more stuff on the side. Hey, could you bring my blue cheese on the side? 
hey, could you bring my, if it's a Chipotle, my sour cream on the side, my guacamole on the side. And they'll put it in little containers that actually have those measurements built in. So that's something that's, uh, that's pretty good to go. Um, pro tip for salads, for anybody who likes to get them, goes out to eat, is concerned with the calories and dressing. I have been known to bring my own salad dressing to places. Hondo. One, because maybe they don't have the salad dressing that I like. Or two, because I'm not going to waste 700 calories on dressing because you bring me three containers of Caesar. You know, it's, it's not something that I am willing to spend my, my calorie budget on. So yeah, I get those little tight seal lids and I'll bring it with me, stick it in my purse, no problem. If you stuck around this far, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like what you heard or think someone else might dig it, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share, or whatever the cool kids say. If you want to learn more about First In or hear more from our family, you can find us on the socials at, at First In Nutrition. And if you're looking for actionable ways to put yourself first, head over to fieldnotes.firstinnutrition.com to join the Field Notes faction for weekly tools and tactics to keep yourself on the path to progress. Because the people that depend on you the most deserve you at your best.